Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. A couple of things to look at in this video, just south of the equator in South America. Number one, a large volcanic eruption about 48 hours ago, sending ash 40,000 feet into the atmosphere. We're going to be able to see that on Zoom Earth as it traveled to the south, southwest, covering a community right over here. Uh, 55 miles away, completely white, covered it solid with ash. Also in this area, we've got the equinox occurring right now. And you can see the equinox also on Zoom Earth as the sun makes its way across South America like it does every day. You can see it sometimes making contact with the ground as the Earth orbits. And, and you can see the sun like right there it is on the 22nd. I'll back it up a little bit and you can actually see it move. Right there it goes again. Let me go to the 21st. It's a little less cloudy, and you'll be able to see the sun right there. See it? That's the bright spot making contact with the Earth, okay? That's where the sun is currently at with regard to the Earth's position. And I'm telling you, it is right on the money. Here it is, uh, the 22nd, right there. See that? Watch this. We're going to step it forward. You can see it right there. Back it up. There it is right there. It's a little cloudier, but it does go right over there. Let me get it to the bright spot. That is exactly at 0, 0, 0, 0. I'm going to take a screenshot, and I'll share this screenshot in the video. It's perfect. That's exactly where it's supposed to be. It's at the equinox. Another thing you can look at um, is satellite imagery, and always during the equinox, you see this anomaly on the visible satellite imagery here at the GO-17. Sometimes it appears on the GO-16 in certain frequencies. See that? It's right at the center point of the equator. And when it does uh, arrive there, March 21st and September 21st, that light anomaly bleeds through, right? Right there. And see how it goes straight across the center of the Earth? That tells you that it's... Um, in the right position. It, it'll also do it again on March 21st. And that's the equinox in full swing. So now the sun is making its journey south, which is going to create winter in the northern hemisphere. It's going to create summer in the, the southern hemisphere. And this is where the sun is supposed to be during the equinox, right there. And it's making contact with the earth, as you just saw, right there, literally perfect. I know at times we've seen pictures of the sun setting and rising, and, and it did. It looked farther north at times, looked way too far to the northeast, and sometimes it looked a little too far to the northwest. Even had compass readings pointed in the general direction that, that looked a little far. I totally agree. But astronomically speaking, according to this right here, it's perfect. It's perfectly aligned with the equinox where it's supposed to be. And what the sun's going to do, and you can follow it yourself here at Zoom Earth. I've done it for years on different satellite instruments, not necessarily Zoom Earth, but I've used whatever I could find to find where the sun, like right there, you can see it making contact as it goes across the northern part of Central America. And as we move into the fall and, and summer months and in the northern hemisphere, the sun will drift farther south. And I'm I'll show you what I mean. It's going to move 23.5 degrees to the south. So it's right here, right now. It will go another 23 degrees, a little over 23, uh, during its journey into the summer months in the southern hemisphere. And it won't go down here past the Tropic of Capricorn in uh, Paraguay. It'll go right down in here. And you can follow it at Zoom Earth. You'll see it every day as long as it's not cloudy, slowly make its way down towards Paraguay. It gets hotter in the, the summer months in the southern hemisphere and it will get cooler up here as we start to experience fall and winter. And that will be the solstice when the sun reaches the Tropic of Capricorn. Once it reaches the Tropic of Capricorn, it will start its journey back to the north. 23.5 degrees, it will be at the equator on March 21st, same place it's at right now. June 21st, it will be up in the Bahamas, crossing the Tropic of Cancer, going through uh, the Caribbean, the Western Sahara. This is where the sun, the direct sunlight will be. And you can follow all of that activity right here at Zoom Earth. Today, this is where it's at, right, right now, as I do this video, it's right there. So it is, according to the direct sunlight, exactly where it's supposed to be. Back to the volcano eruption, I wanted to show you what I found over here at Zoom Earth. Just to the south of Ecuador, right in here, you can see the volcano 
erupt. Here I took a little screenshot of the volcanic activity right in here. See it go up into the atmosphere? It's like 40,000 feet high. And that ash plume covered a community 55 miles to the, well, pretty much due west. Right over in here as it made its way back down towards the ground. Very thick plume of ash covering this community here in South America. Commanda, look at that. Looks like a blizzard went through the community. September 21st, this is when the article was written. Uh, the volcano eruption occurred on the, the 20th, 0420 local time. Um, generated a dense, dark ash plume that you guys just saw. And it was South Ecuador, Sangay Volcano. And it exploded in dramatic fashion. Get a load of this footage out of this community here. Unreal turned day into night pretty much looks like a, a blizzard or a snowstorm went through there incredible can you imagine the air quality conditions i mean the air quality conditions in oregon and california ha have been deplorable this is a whole new level of deplorable unbelievable look at the treetops there they're they're snow white the road is snow white that's where that plume that we just saw on Zoom Earth, the, the majority of it, and that was 55 miles away. This is 55 miles away from the volcano. As the crow flies, we can go back to Google Earth. I'll show you guys exactly where that community is at with regard to the volcano. Right over here. Here's the community, Kumanda, and the volcano is over here. Traveled 55 miles covered that area solid white and I'm sure many other areas in between so a spectacular volcanic eruption in South America in fact here's some more photos of the same area and you can see everything is snow white you can't even hardly see those mountains off in the background you can see the the ash on the treetops literally looks like a, a snowstorm went through the area here's a, another example of the ash that went through the area. Somebody viewing this from, uh, looks like the fifth or sixth story of a building, a multi-story building looking out over the community. You can't even see a half a mile. Looks like dense fog. Look at the ground there. Looks like several inches of snow on the ground. Unbelievable. So that volcanic eruption did affect a populated, very densely populated community. And a lot of times these uh, volcano eruptions do not affect communities. They kind of drift off out into the ocean or maybe into a remote area where there's not a whole lot of people. That wasn't the case with this volcanic eruption. And you can see it over here at Zoom Earth. I just showed you, and there's still part of the ash plume right there from the 20th. See it? Let's back it up. See it right there? Completely covered that community with volcanic ash. So once again, guys, we are in the equinox. It has arrived, and the sun and earth are exactly where they are supposed to be, according to the satellite presentation and according to what I could find over here at Zoom Earth. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.